What's going on guys? This is another video and today we're gonna be covering a very easy and very very powerful glitch on the map buried in Black Ops 2. Okay guys, the glitch is very simple. The only thing you need to do to set up this glitch is in another game to have at least 20 to 30 thousand points in the bank, otherwise this entire method is not gonna work. Once you have that, get into any public game, preferably a game of solo, it's easiest. Now once you get into the game, what you're going to want to do is to get down and free the big guy from his cage and build any weapons along the wall that you choose. The more points the better. Once you do that, what you're going to want to do is to open up the bank. Once you open up the bank, withdraw about 20,000 to 30,000 points. Now once you take over all that stuff, what you're going to want to do is to go hit the power switch. Once you do that, grab candy and lock the box. Once you lock the box and grab candy to lock the box with, what you're going to want to do is hit the box until you get the paralyzer. Once you get the paralyzer, what you're going to want to do is to head to the witch's house. Make sure you have a secondary that's capable of killing the witches. An A94 will work well for this. You Probably by now, you probably would have gotten a Raygun Mark II or something that could do just that out of the box. Now, once you make it to the witch, before you go to the witch's house, be sure to grab Double Dab 2.0. You're going to need that, otherwise you're going to the glitch is going to be less effective. Once you grab Double Tap, proceed to the house get through there get your free perk and make your way to the pac machine go the way I go you can always fly over the gates using the paralyzer now once you reach the pack punch pack punch the paralyzer and then haul ass right back to the box location now once you do that build the trample steam you have all you have to do is open up one door and build all the full parts at the nearby building station you could also just grab one part build it there and then pay and buy some candy and have the big guy do the rest if you if you incline now once you do that, grab the trample steam and fly up to this location nearby, quick revive. You don't have to open up into the doors, you can open up the doors that lead to the courthouse and the saloon if you want to, you don't have to. Just fly up and get right by quick revive. Now go to the spot shown, and what you're going to want to do is to place the trample steam as shown. And either you stay on it if the zombie's not you, or you have to run around, but make sure that you're on the trample steam when it's about prepped the fling that way you know it doesn't have to go through another cycle to fling you to get you in the glitch now once you do that you should be implanted inside this wall you should be able to jump up in a rare occasion you might not be able to and that's happened to me once but for the most part you should be able to um, press X and jump or um, a button on Xbox and appropriate key on PC you should be able to jump through and get on top of this this area now what you want to do is to jump over this one little ledge then head on over here to this particular spot. There's no death berries out here, so don't worry. And plop right down in these bits of hay. Now what you're going to do is to find kind of where the edge of this little barrier is. And then tape the fire button facing the direction I'm facing. Once you do that, all the zombies will die up until round 77. And yeah, what you do is you keep your system on. Make sure the power save settings are not set to turn it off after some time. You just tape the fire button and you leave it. You go do and live your life, which this allows you to potentially, while you're at work, while you're at school, while you're out doing things, allows you to game at home without having to be here, without having to actually game. This is very, very useful, particularly if you're going to school, you start this up in the morning, you, you, you wake up 30 minutes sooner than you normally do, you get on, quickly get the glitch going and then once you get home from school you check on it make sure it's still going and then when you wake up the next day you end the game and do the glitch again because this glitch only takes 10 minutes if everything goes well usually it takes me about averaging at about 15 minutes so yeah all you need is like a 20 minute block of time each day you can get easy shotguns it's a really really powerful glitch because you only have to spend under you, know, you only have to spend 15 minutes doing shit and the rest of it you know you leave it on for a day you get to 77 easily it's, 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 it's this type of power that allows players that wouldn't otherwise be able to play enough to get shotguns or even skulls to get shotguns and all that crazy stuff it's really really in it's really really impressive that this glitch exists and I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this glitch so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure you leave a like comment subscribe you guys know the drill and I hope to see you guys all in another one of my videos peace out